Hi, I'm Aditi Saxton. I'm here to talk to you about what you can expect from the Hacker's cultural coverage over the next few weeks. Hello. The History Project is a seven-part series we kicked off this week, which I'm particularly excited about. Um, they're the conversations, there's some conversations about our history, our heritage, the sort of concrete edifices and artifacts that we've inherited that somehow get uh, subsumed in this collective notion of despair, of neglect, of the state's apathy um, towards preserving them. Um, the talks that our special correspondent, Ravti Lal, has been having, um, they really try to break out of that rut. So she's been looking to speak with architects, restoration specialists, uh, key practitioners, key people at institutions like the Aga Khan Trust or the Sanskriti Foundation. And um, what these conversations do is they locate aspects that we can actually celebrate about our heritage um, and also pinpoint practical measures we can take. Um, this week she spoke with Amanath Nath and Francis Wagziark, whose name I'm pretty sure I just butchered, um, about, um, and they're the proprietors of the Nimrana hotels, and about the hurdles they've circumvented and the challenges they've sur surmounted to build uh, a model that's, you know, commercially viable certainly, but also um, very, very ecologically and culturally sensitive and, and truly sustainable. Next week, uh, we'll be presenting her talk with Radish Nanda of the Aga Khan Trust, and he's going to take us through how um, outreach efforts at Nizamuddin Basti are actually integral to perhaps um, the the larger outreach effort around um, Nizamuddin, which you know s encompasses him, Nizamuddin Darga and Humayun's tomb. What the series represents to me is a real push to take this conversation of this attitude, this really tired talk about not in my backyard, and you know, elevate it to uh, an idea, an issue that we're all actively engaged in and thinking through. Um, the horrendous human rights violations that happened in Sri Lanka are in fact in our own backyard, but India has somehow managed to distance itself from all of the aftermath of the hostilities between uh, the Sri Lankan government and the Tamil Tigers that finally ended in May 2009 and left over 40,000 civilians dead. Uh, this week in the magazine, we have um, a heart-rending account by Benjamin Dix, who collaborated with illustrator and filmmaker Lindsay Pollock um, to create a graphic novel uh, called The Vanni, which is an area in um, the northern region of Sri Lanka, which was controlled by the Tigers. Uh, what Ben does is he synthesizes the interviews that he and uh, Lindsay conducted, um, collects first-hand testimonies, and he synthesized them into this fictional account of Antoni and his family. And uh, the magazine has a short, tantalizing preview of the artwork, but also um, a very, very personal account by Ben about how hard it was for him to leave the region. So I hope that um, you will not just follow them online, but perhaps be inspired to uh, contribute to the seven episodic um, chapters that are yet to be produced via Kickstarter. Looking to the week ahead, uh, we're hoping to showcase a photo feature by young Singaporean photographer Sean Lee, uh, who's exhibiting in Delhi as part of um, a show called Postcards from the Interior, curated by Tanvi Mishra. And, um, Sean's work, what it does is, I think it really flips what the camera's gaze represents for us. Um, you know, they're, they're, it's a photo project um, that's structured around his own nu nuclear family, his father, his mother, and his siblings. And um, instead of the camera feeling like an intrusion, it feels sort of as a means to an intimacy that they don't share in their ordinary life. And um, the portraits are palpably intimate and utterly lovely. So do take a look. Um, otherwise, from around the country, there's the Kochi Biennale that's going to happen soon, curated by Krishnamachari Bose. There'll be the TED Gateway Talks in Mumbai. Uh, we the People are having a series of pop-up shows for a festival, all of which we hope to feature um, in Tahaka's pages soon. So do keep reading. Thanks.